everybody in this video i'm going to briefly explain the production of characteristics x-rays and the installing radiations and how the characteristics x-rays are widely used in material spectrization techniques like x-ray diffraction techniques and energy dispersive spectroscopy wavelength dispersive spectroscopy so friends watch this video until the end So far we have seen that when a highly energetic accelerated electron strikes the material surface, it results in a number of interactions with the atoms of the target sample, thereby creating other electrons, scanner electrons and backscatter electrons. At the same time, this interaction may result in the production of X-rays. Those emit from much lower depth of the material and these two types of X-rays are known as characteristic X-rays and Bremstalling radiations. Because the characteristic X-rays are widely used in many characterization techniques like high resolution X-ray diffraction. If we identify the crystal structure of materials, their lattice parameters and the size of particles and many other things. So the production of X-rays is really important. These X-rays are commonly produced in X-ray tubes. All the X-ray tubes have same basic function and same basic component. In this tube, when a highly energetic electron strikes the material surface, it results in the production of X-rays. The working principle and its major components will be discussed in our upcoming lecture series. When we plot the energy of the X-rays with respect to their relative number, then we got the X-ray spectrum as shown here in this diagram. The sharp peaks belongs to the characteristics X-rays and the continuous part belongs to the Bremsstrahlung radiations. In order to understand this graph, we need to know how the X-rays are produced. So let's start with the production of characteristics X-rays. Characteristics X-rays are produced when the incident particle like electron strikes a bound electron in an atom. The target electron is ejected from the inner shell of the atom a vacant energy level is created which is known as a core hole. To fill this hole, an outer shell electron will then fall into the inner shell by emitting quantitized energy photons with an energy level equivalent to the difference between the upper and the lower states. Because each element has a unique set of energy levels, the energy and wavelength of emitted X-rays for each element are fixed and quantitized. That's why the characteristic X-rays are used to identify the particular element from which they are emitted. For example, the energy of the emitted X-ray is 8.04 kilo electron volt with a wavelength of 1.54 angstrom which actually belongs to the K-alpha radiation of copper. Both the energy and wavelength of emitted X-rays are used to identify the elements present in materials to find out their chemical composition. If we sort the X-rays based on their energy, then it's known as energy dispersion spectroscopy. But if they are sorted out based on the wavelength of the emitted X-rays, then it is termed as wavelength dispersive spectroscopy. So let us see how the Bremsstrahlung stalling radiations are produced. To understand it, let's consider a highly energetic electron entering into the atom. By missing all the electrons, it passes through the atom in the vicinity of the strong electric fields of atomic nuclei. The strong positive charge of the nucleus would cause to attract this electron. The electron would slow down and change its direction. Now, according to Maxwell's equation, whenever a charge is deaccelerated, it will emit electromagnetic radiation. Thus, its kinetic energy will release in the form of an X-ray photon. This X-ray is known as Bremsstrahlung radiation. Bremsstrahlung is a German word that means breaking radiation and that makes sense because the radiation is created because the electron is break down or slow down. The electron during this interaction may lose all of its energy and may not lose any energy. The energy of the Bremsstrahlung radiation depends on how close the electron passes through the nucleus. That is why the energy of the Bremsstrahlung radiations is not fixed and quantitized like the characteristic X-rays and these radiations are usually filtered out as they have no fixed energy and wavelength. So it was an overview of the production of 
x rays these topics will be discussed in details in our upcoming lecture series so friends please take note with us